Both my mother and my father are Marines. My mother uh, got out after a couple years. My father actually just retired. My father served for 24 years. My parents, they're really great people who really instilled a lot of, I personally believe, great qualities uh, in my siblings and I. My dad was a recruiter and he served for 25 years. I do think it's different growing up with a Marine parent because he was always giving me different pointers and teaching me to be very confident. My father has always talked about education being the focal point of my life. So this semester actually is my last semester, so I'll be finishing in December and I'm looking forward to it, but my family regardless, they said at the end of the year, we'll just have like a small little get together for you, just a family, because this is a big accomplishment and we don't want you to feel that it's like not important or that the COVID um, is going to keep you from celebrating. My grandmother, she used to work at uh, Martha Luther King Hospital and she would come home, she'd have her stethoscope and like all these cool tools and she would like always tell me about them. She like taught me how to like listen to my own pulse. So I was like, you know, I, should, I wanna become a physician and I'm currently a sophomore at Sacramento State University. I feel like it was kind of an easy decision for me because I knew that I wanted to kind of go far away, but I still wanted to stay in California. I had met people in Sacramento. They were saying how awesome the school was and just the feel of being in Sacramento. I was like, this is kind of the place I want to be. In my final semester before I transferred uh, from community college to UC San Diego in my physics class, a researcher came in from UC San Diego and talked to us about plasma. So that was really the start of me getting into uh, nuclear fusion and uh, plasma physics. Now San Diego is, uh, is beautiful. You know, we really can't beat the weather. Go to the beach several times a week. California is so big and so diverse. You have all the coastal cities, you have the interior. I really think that there's so much in California to explore. My major is business administration, but my concentration is in entrepreneurship. And I felt like this was a good roadmap for me personally because I'm born and raised in California. I grew up mostly in the Los Angeles County area and I've always been passionate about singing and dancing and the entertainment industry so learn what I need to learn and then make the connections I need to make and then hopefully possibly in a few years I could open up my own record label or talent agency that helps um, young talent get into the industry. I want to finish school in three years and by me taking 18 units since my freshman year till now, I'm on track of being able to finish in three years. I don't think I would be able to do this workload without the Marine Corps Scholarship because taking all of these units can be very expensive and actually having the scholarship has cut down those prices for me and is making it more affordable for my mom and my dad to be able to send me to college. So the Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation, uh, when they awarded me uh, the scholarship, it allowed me to quit my serving job. Um, so I was able to put majority of my time during the week into this research work rather than cramming all of my homework in Monday through Friday, uh, then working Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, you know, to, to pay bills. You know, having the scholarship, it's helped a lot. You know, I felt like I've been able to access resources um, that I didn't know I possibly could access or even go deeper into the resources. You know, they have these workshops about money management, which I think is incredibly important. They work with uh, several companies to provide internship opportunities that are specific to the Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation students. It's definitely a lot more than just money. The support of the scholarship has been extra this year, specifically during the pandemic, because, you know, a lot of people aren't making the same money that, they're, that they used to. So having that extra money and, you know, towards all the units I'm taking has definitely been a big help. I, Juliet Gonzalez, want to personally thank you, the donors, for funding my education. And I'm incredibly grateful for the fact that I 
been able to not only use this scholarship as a way to fund my education, but also in a way to pay it forward and help those who have helped me. The best we can do is help other people out. And I think that this is a perfect example of that. You know, there are obviously very generous people out there who care um, and empathize with this, uh, with this family, essentially, you know, the family of the Marine Corps. And they've decided to help out uh, this family. So I'm very, very grateful for that. I do think that the donors are honoring my father's service because he put 25 years in and I feel like any other person who has put any amount of time into the Marine Corps gets that reward and honor that they get from the donors. And it's like helping their children out as well.